My brothers and sisters, <clears throat> I'd like to begin by thanking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This milestone in the history of ICNA, reaching the age of 50, is not a time for celebration. It's not a time for celebration. It is a time for reflection. Time for us to go back and look at our history, the work we started off to do, and what have we accomplished, and what have we not accomplished. So I hope and pray that you find this convention really something that will energize you, rejuvenate your iman, bring you closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, really make you feel that you have to go do something. You have to get the message of Allah, the message of Islam to the masses. If we are able to convince one person in this convention to do that work, we think we are able to accomplish our goal, inshallah ta'ala. Because you never know, it's about the intention. It's about what you set out for. So we really hope and pray that this convention will be the stepping stone for you, will be that springboard for you that really gets you excited. The next two and a half days, inshallah, you will have the opportunity to listen to a lot of motivating speeches and scholarly, intellectual, intellectually stimulating talks. But as those, if you have attended my khutbah earlier, as I said earlier, the point of all this is not to give eloquent speeches and lectures and stimulating talks. That's not the point of it. The point of it is to take home a message. The message that Prophet ﷺ 1500 years ago that has delivered that message to you when he said in Khutbat al Wada, raising his hands to the sky and says, Allahumma hal ballagh, Allahumma hal ballagh, Allahumma hal ballagh, O Allah, be a witness that I have conveyed the message. And then he turned around and said to everyone, Fal yuballigh shahid al ghaib. Those of you who are present, ensure that you deliver this message to those who are not present. My brothers and sisters, I don't want to take much time. I wanted to welcome you all. Thank you for your commitment to ICNA. I know it's not easy to come with a family. It's a financial burden. But it is for a purpose, inshallah ta'ala, with the right intention. As I was saying earlier, no matter what you do in this life, my brothers and sisters, if you have the intention the right intention behind your actions, Allah will turn that into ibadah. Let's, inshallah ta'ala, have that intention now at this moment. I also want to take a few moments and thank the organizers of this event. A team of probably a hundred people, volunteers, working for almost five to six months constantly produces this effort. So as you see some of those, those who are present, who are actually visible to you with their volunteer badges, stop by and thank them. And make dua for those who are not visible. There are many, many brothers and sisters behind the scene who have constantly worked hours and hours and hours and days and days and days to make this happen. May Allah reward them. May Allah reward their families for the patience that they've endured when their husbands and wives and sisters and brothers were busy with this work to make sure that this platform is available for you to be able to benefit. So inshallah, do your best and take notes, pay attention, listen to the lectures, 
Meet people, introduce yourselves. Afshu salam. Afshu salam. Wa at'imu ta'am. If you really want to do that, make sure that you meet everyone, greet them with a smile on your face. Be that role model that the Prophet ﷺ has asked us to be. Make sure that your character and your etiquettes and your adab are really in line with the role model that we take as a role model, and that is the Prophet ﷺ. Jazakumullah khair for your time and attention. May Allah reward you. Wassalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.